Good evening. We're live at the arena, and there's an air of playoff confidence for the Blues around here for a change. It's game three of the Blues' best of seven Stanley Cup playoff series with the Chicago Blackhawks tonight. The series all knotted up at a game apiece. Now, the Blues went through their final preps for tonight. There was a lot of talk about game three being the pivotal game of the series. The series is tied. The winner tonight gets some momentum. But if you talk to the Blues, there's no such thing as a pivotal game. It's just another game out of the seven. Uh, you, you just got to be one game over 500 to win the series. Right now, we're just going to work hard every shift, every period. It's not going to be any easier. We're, we uh, we got to use the same things that, that made us successful in Chicago, and, uh, and we'll be successful here. Now, as far as the Blackhawks are concerned, they've made a couple of changes in their lineups. One big change, our Trey Wingo was at the Blackhawks practice earlier today. What's going on? Well, Mike, you know, Blackhawks... Mike Keenan is notorious for making some questionable changes, and it looks like he may have made one heading into tonight's game that has people scratching their heads. Blackhawks goalie Ed Belfour. He has been a very hard puzzle for the Blues to solve. I'd be very surprised if we didn't see him. I think, uh, you know, he's done a job for them uh, the last couple years, and uh, he's their number one guy. The record he's had in the, you know, the past in his career, and he's you know, such a great goaltender. But when the Blues and Blackhawks series shifts back to the ice here at the arena, Ed Belfour will not be in the Blues' way. Have you made a decision yet about uh, who's going to start in goal tonight? Uh, yes, I have. And you know who that's going to be? You going to tell us? <laughs> Dominic Hasek. It's going to be Dominic. Why Dominic? He's a good goaltender. Yeah, he's got a lot of experience, and he's uh, a world-class goaltender. Dominic Hasek played very well coming in Sunday. He stopped two Brett Hall breakaways. And the Blues don't see their game plan changing any now that Hasek is in and Belfour is out. They both play the same way, so it doesn't matter. It'd be a little strange not to see Eddie Belfour between the pipes? No, not at all. I, you know, Mike Keenan's done stranger things. <laughs> Truer things, I guess, have never been spoken. You don't like. think he'd tell you Hasek would start and then he'd start Belfort? Mike you? Keenan? No, <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> all right, Trey, thank you very much. We'll you see bet. you tonight at 6 o'clock. Also, a change for the Blues. It looks like former All-Star defenseman Paul Cavallini has been scratched for tonight's game. We'll have more on that at 6 o'clock. College basketball news. The picture is becoming a little bit more clear over at St. Louis U. Freshman guard Scott Heinrich, the official, he will be coming back. Highmark was considering a transfer, but new coaches Charlie Spoonauer and Randy Stange convinced him to stay. Well, it just made me feel real comfortable that uh, a lot of the guys are going to stay, and we are going to be able to add a few players, and uh, just the atmosphere, a positive atmosphere, and we're going to try to have fun and just have a good time and play the best we can. Now, it looks like almost all the freshmen will be back. Freshmen from last year, there'll be sophomores coming up. Brian Malcolm Briggs this afternoon that he will be back. The only two freshmen that will not be returning, Kevin Grauer and Julian Winfield, who said today, he told our Malcolm Briggs that it does not look like he'll return. Also today, 5'11 point guard Carlos McCauley from Charleston, Missouri, signed a letter of intent to play with the Billikins. Cards and Mets baseball tonight at uh, Shea Stadium. Bob Tewksbury on the mound against David Cohn. Now, the big blow last night for the Mets, a two-run double by Willie Randolph in the sixth. And behind Doc Gooden, the Mets beat the Cards by the score of two Cubs and Phillies today at Wrigley Field. And the Cubs won that game by the score of 9-5. to five. We'll have much more on the Blues and Blackhawks coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. Rick, Karen, back to you. All right, Mike, thank you. Big night at the arena. Yes, and we have more news in just a moment.